Welcome to Cars and Coding. Today we're going to be working on this 2010 Audi A4 and we're going to be replacing the motor mounts. The reason I'm replacing the motor mounts is because the engine, which I'll show you, uh, when you, br when you uh, power brake on it, the engine actually wants to move up, like really far. <laughs> addition it has a slight uh, vibration at idle and it's very annoying especially when you have the air conditioning off and you're in drive you're sitting at a light and you can feel a vibration which is not normal so we're gonna replace the uh, the motor mounts all right so uh, I'm gonna show you this um, engine um, support beam thing I got this one from uh, Harbor Freight, but you can also get them on eBay or Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description on where to buy it uh, from Amazon. So click on the little down arrow in the video description and you'll be able to see all the links. So basically, um, so it's just a, like a big bar and it goes on the side, not on top of the um, not on top of the fender, but on the um, or, you know, the main unibody. So this here, let's see if I can get, all right. So this here, um, you can turn and it'll lift up the engine basically by turning it. Anyway, um, you have two, um, brackets. Here's one right here and it has a hole. So what I did is I just put a uh, bolt through the hole right here. The bolt goes through, put a nut on the end, put the chain on and same thing in the back. Um, here you can see it real good. There's a bolt right here that I put through this bracket right here and through the chain and um, you know, that's it. That's holding it. So then the, the chain is now very tight um, supporting the engine so so next you have to take off the wheels and uh, jack up the car so I have this um, jack that I got recently it's called a U-Jack by Powerbuilt and you can also buy this on Amazon or eBay um, but the cool thing about this is that it it, j it jacks up on your um, on the uh, lip underneath the car that you're supposed to um, jack from and then what so basically what's gonna happen is um, you're jacking you're jacking up the car the cars on here you jack it up the height you want it and then you slide in the jack stand slide in the jack stand in between here like that and then you lower the jack because the car is on here right now right the car is right on here you put position the jack so now that when the car drops down it'll go right in the middle of the jack lower the jack like that then you can pull the jack away and now the car is sitting on top of here super cool and it works great so 100 percent buy one of these things they're very inexpensive um, compared to other jacks so get it all right so once you got it jacked up then uh, take off the belly pan back out of there and then take the wheels off and I just want to say that I love this uh, Ryobi impact wrench. It works super good. And I have a link to this in the video description as well.
All right, so now we're gonna we're in the wheel well here. We're gonna take off. These are torques right here. We may have to take off these clips right here. Take off uh, these two nuts here and see where we get. Okay, so this fender liner comes off with you know with the, these bolts down here, and then there's a couple of clips here. And then there was a uh, another clippy thing down here, and then there was another thing that bolts on here. And that thing right here, this guy you gotta take off. Then you can just move this out of the way. And then the bolts that you need to take off are this one here is a 16. That one up there is either a triple square or I think it's a 14. This one here you take off. I guess this one helps to take it off because there's a bracket. Um, not sure about that yet. So check that out. And then underneath the car, this here, these two have to come off. And then this uh, wiring harness thing has to come off and here so up here you can see this is the bolt that you're going from the other side you're going to take off and it goes into this um, metal stamped uh, bracket here all right so for the top torques I had to use a, uh, a breaker bar to get in there with the triple square all right, so for reference, this this bolt is either an 18, 18 millimeter, or 14, 14 square. That's what I use, the 14 triple square, uh, 3 eighths. And then I use an adapter. It's a half inch, so I can use some extensions and a breaker bar. And that's how I got that out. I think I gotta jack it up a little bit. Okay, and we're out. Now, you can see underneath I put a block of wood and a jack under the oil pan just to hold it um, if need be but um, up top I tightened up that brace and that actually lifted the motor Ooh, pretty long boat Oh, look at that, comes right out. Got it. Oh yeah, she's ripped. 
See this here. See, I got a bolt in here now. Got it up in there. I'm gonna put the other bolt in. It's supposed to go okay so now I have these two these two bolts here just I just stuck them in there so they're um, connected to the motor mount I mean they're just in there to the motor mount now I have to put that bracket on and then put this um, other bolt in here Just gonna uh, tell you a quick story here so you got to put these two in first before you put that middle one in okay so put these two in first now in order to do that you got to use a crowbar and you got to stick it underneath the motor mount so it's basically See right in here, underneath here is where you gotta stick it. Okay, and you might have to put it that way, or you might have to put it this way, and then push up or pull down. You know, to get those lined up. So I put this bracket on first here. This one here. Put this one on first. And then you line up the holes for those other screw, those bolts. These two bolts here, that one and that one. Do that second. Then put this guy in. Now we're going to tighten these up. I think these ones go to 50 newton meters and this one to 90 newton meters. And um, this is just a bracket, that's nothing. Alright, so it's all done now. That top. Uh, Top bolt here up in there that's a 90 newton meter and then these two on the sides are 55 newton meters and um, the two on the underside are 22 newton meters torque and that's it so now we finally got it all back together and now I got to put the um, fender liner back in the wheel on and that'll be it for this side here on the driver's side, and it's the same situation. You got your two um, bolts here. You got this connector, and in the up in here, you got. I already took these bolts out. So bolt up in there, and then where these number fours are. There was a bolt here and a bolt here, and uh, that's it. So I took all, I took those ones out, and I'm gonna take off um, those two. And um, I also already uh, put tension, put tension on there. I uh, just 
screw that down a bit to um, lift up the motor a little bit. So I'm not using the jack this time until I unless I need it. I'm gonna take those out now. This is holding on by this. Get that out of there. There, got it. Okay. I'll break that. Let's see if we can raise the engine up a little bit. There we go. Got it. What the hell is this? That was probably hanging it up. I'm going to take that off, whatever the hell that is. Oh, gosh. Seen this thing? Look at this. Hanger on here. I don't know what that's for. That's a bunch of something. All right, well, get that off. Obviously, this is. Right, it's coming down. I'm just going to show you the difference between the old one and the new one. The major major uh, difference is this one is all squished down um, versus this one is taller inside, so it's squished down. I mean, this, this still has a lot of movement in it on the new one. This one doesn't have as much movement, but it is squished. Turn it around here. It's down in, it's down in there more. It's not leaking or anything, so I don't know. This looks. I don't know. We'll soon find out how good it is. We move this to the side. Okay. Now where's it going? Alright, so what I did is Put the bolts, these bolts in first. Yeah, basically it's a matter of jacking it up and then lowering it kind of to get it in there. And then this guy goes in, it's not too hard, just move this out of the way. And, um, yeah, now we just we gotta get these bolts back in and then I put these in first and they're just loose. And then I put the side ones in. And then I need to put the middle one in. Now I think the middle one. So I put this this one here. This one here. Hopefully that one goes in. And then oh the top one looks
there. See? It's pretty lined up already. Right there. Just needs, needs to come up a little. Alright. So we're just going to try to line everything up. Alright, I just wanted to show... I just wanted to show how I put this um, engine support, the chains on. So, yeah, so I got a bolt going through here. Like that. With the washer on each side. And that went around. You see this? Went around like that. So that's how I had it. And same thing in the rear. You see back here? Yeah. So same thing back here. Same thing. And right around here. That's it. So this thing, this whole thing is just kind of loose up here. And that's it. I did this video is because I had a very strong vibration at idle that was shaking the car, especially when I had the air conditioning off. So if I had the air conditioning off, like there was a vibration, I could feel it. It was very annoying. Um, it's, it, it felt like the car had a V8 um, motor in it with, you know, a lumpy cam or something. It was just vibrating. Um, also, there was like clunking when I would go in and out of gear, shifting gears and stuff like that. So um, now that I replaced the motor mounts, everything is good. There's no more vibration. There's no clunking. There's nothing. Um, everything is like perfect now. So um i'm going to show you a little bit of a video of the before before and after um when you do uh brake uh you step you put your foot on the brake and then you press the gas i don't know what that's called brake boosting or something um and the motor still moves up it still moves up it's not uh stationary when you do that but you will notice that when i rev the engine it no longer um like tilts so much anymore because it was tilting when you would uh rev the engine and it's not doing that anymore so Brake boosting is not really the best way to judge if you have uh, bad motor mounts or not. It's really the vibration at idle, and uh, it's really not that hard of a job to do. Um, of course, I have all of the tools that you need and everything in my video description, so check it out. Uh, click the little down arrow in the video by the video title, and it'll um, bring up the whole video description with all the links to all my videos everything you can buy and please if you like this video please like the video and um, hit the subscribe button i'm going to put it right over here right now there's the round cars and coating subscribe button click on that and then you'll get all my new videos that come out as they come out i still have a couple more to do i want to do an intercooler uh, upgrade and I also need to fix my headliner which is uh, can't really see back here but it's sagging and so I need to do that and that's pretty much all I need left to do on this car I've done so many things check out all my videos brakes turbo um, you know now I get the motor mounts and shocks upper control arms transmission fluid front rear and center differential change um you want to get your uh um rear view mirror replaced with one with a compass in it i show you a video on how to do that um just so, so many different videos that we have um for this car go ahead and check them out uh 
Hope you're all doing good through this coronavirus stuff. Auf Wiedersehen.